Here to present the fantastic Super Dave Osborne, Bud Light Daredevils, Keith Guy, Ty and Tim. These kids are wearing some sort of shoe that you developed, is that Well, uh, it'll be out in the market. I've got them on tonight. They're called uh, Air Osborne, and they'll be out in the stores. <laughs> and they're made uh, specifically for white people who can't jump. The world's highest slam dunk from 40 feet, is that correct? Well, yes, uh, I was supposed to be catapulted to the ceiling. My hat was gonna touch the ceiling. I was gonna come down grab a ball, dunk it, land on my hands, and pop to my feet. But we had a slight mishap. And, uh, All right, well, well uh, someone from your st staff sent us the tape. So I, I don't think we have to see the tape. It was just a slight mishap. And, uh, I, I think folks would like to see it. I think... We all know you as a great stuntman, as a great athlete. I think if maybe if people see you do something not so successful, it can no. be incredible. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. This is you attempting a 40-foot slam dunk. All right. Well, now, Fuji, what is it exactly you're going to do? All I do is press remote control, and then Super Dave take off like rocket. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me have a ball, please. Fuji, here's how high I want the ball on the way down. As okay. you can see, the catapult is made from an iron magnesium base. And the propulsion seat and the headrest are made of Saskatchewan seal skin bindings. Where are supposed to be, please? You about okay. ready, Super? In a second, Mike. Okay. All right. If you Perfect. Back over there, Fuji. All right. So we're all clear. I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to slowly raise up and lock in. Then I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one. You're going to shoot me. Hat's going to hit the ceiling. Hold my breath. Down, ball, dunk, land, and bow. Okay, here we go. First countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. All right, we're stopping. No, we're not. a lot more painful than a, than a cold sandwich. Well, uh, if you breathe properly and you shut your eyes, you don't really get that hurt. Now, let me add. Now, again, but any other stuntman, I think, would have just walked away from that. You, you, you tried to, to, to fix the stunt. I don't want to show any more tape. Well, no, I, I, no, no. Let's, let, let's show you fix it. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I think people would like to see it. Let's take a look. What happened was I didn't check this whole thing, and uh, Quasimodo had hooked up the... Uh, <laughs> equipment to this one board where he has the backward release and the lights and the rocket thing that he developed and I see now that the wrong button was pushed Dave, that, that's a hell of a stunt and it's certainly certainly terrific having you on the show well, thank you I'm gonna go and, uh... okay Thank you, Super Dave! Super Dave Osborne!